welcome back on info for triply and you are watching a series on basics of matlab symlink this is 26th video of this series in which we will discuss about variable frequency sine wave using matlab symlink and you are with paramjit singh jamba first of all we will discuss the variable frequency sine wave in this video i am considering the query of mr bhavesh patel in which he asked sir i want to know how simulate signal with different frequencies in different duration like 20 hertz in duration 0 to 5 second 40 hertz in 5 to 10 second and 60 hertz in 10 to 15 second to simulate this type of variable frequency sine wave there is a need to generate a step wave form having step of 20 hertz 40 hertz and 60 hertz i am considering that duration of 0.1 second for each frequencies so that the cycle of each frequency should be visible so for first 0.1 second 20 hertz waveform will consist of two cycles for next 0.1 second 40 hertz waveform will consist of four cycles and for next 0.1 second 60 hertz waveform will consist of six cycles so now moving towards the practical session on matlab in this video we will continue the simulation we have created in 11th video so open that simulation file and save it with different name we can remove sine wave block switch block and this switch block from the simulation as these blocks are not required in this video to generate our first step of 20 hertz we will use constant block so set its value as 20 hertz to generate the step of 40 hertz we will use step block and step time will be 0.1 initial value will be 0 and final value will be 20 and we can write here 40 hertz to generate our third step of 60 hertz we need to set step time to 0.2 second initial value to 0 and final value to 20 hertz and change it to 60 hertz now we can combine these three steps by using some block so open simlink library and go to commonly used blocks and this is our sum block so drag this block into our simulation file now to update the terminal of this sum block just click on this block and here we can remove this bar and use one more plus as we required three terminals and we can also change its shape by selecting rectangular option now close it now we can zoom it for more clarity and connecting these blocks now connect the output of some block to the first input of scope block to check its output and save this simulation file and select stop time to 0.3 second and run this simulation and open scope block now click on scale x and y axis limits now you can see that we have generated the 20 hertz 40 hertz and 60 hertz step waveform to generate the frequencies of different value now we will work on the second section of the simulation to generate the variable frequency sine wave 
for that purpose we need a clock block so go to simring library and go to sources and this is our clock block so drag this block into your simulation file and click on this block and update its decimation to 1 and close it now we will combine the output of clock block and sum block for that purpose we need a max block so go to signal routing and drag this max block into simulation file and connect first input to the output of sum block and second input to the output of clock block so now we have a frequency and time and we will fade these two combined signal to the fcn block to generate the variable frequency sine wave so go to user defined functions and drag this fcn block into our simulation file and connect its input to the output of this max block and now click on fcn block and here we will write our expression that is sine 2 pi ft so 2 sine is already there so sine 2 into pi pi will be written as pi f f is coming from the first input of the max block so for that purpose we need u1 which is already here to provide f and last is for time so we need to remove this and yes u2 so it will provide time and we can remove extra bracket so now we have sine 2 pi f is coming from upper side and time is coming from uh, second terminal so now close it now connect its output to the input of scope block we can increase its size to check the expression now our simulation is ready just save the simulation and run the simulation and now go to scope here you can clearly see that we have obtained the desired waveform as discussed in the starting of the video this is sufficient for today i am thankful to electronics project for sharing his heart touching feedback if this video is useful to you then like and share it if you have any query or session then let me know through your comments if you want to get the notification about our upcoming videos then subscribe our channel and click on bell icon thank you for being with us